morning. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. I'm Nate. This is Country Classic 57. Today I've got a treat for y'all. So you know how I have been saying that I am going to show you guys some of the hot rods around here and how I want to feature them on my channel. But it's finally happening. Today is the day. Today is the day I see have and I show you guys I show you guys a sleeper. And I mean a true sleeper in of the sense of this is a monster in disguise, okay? Uh, but that's all I'm gonna show. That's all you, I'm gonna tell you for now. Uh, you guys are just gonna have to wait for the, the rest of the video. And right now I am taking this monstrosity. I say monstrosity beast, gas guzzler, uh, alcohol. Well, if it wasn't, if it drank alcohol, it'd be considered an alcoholic, but I won't go there. Taking this girl, uh, my mom's actually got my car right now. We're gonna go do a photo shoot real quick of me and the two cars I have. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so I am in a parking lot of Michael's over here in Fenton and I have the first car to showcase on my channel. Uh, this guy has built this car uh, it is immaculate for a daily driver that he has. It is a true sleeper in of itself. When uh, whoever wrote the book on sleepers, he had this car in mind. And I just wanted to show you guys this. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, this right here, 57 Chevy. But it's not your average 57 Chevy. And over here I've got the man who created this car, the man who drives the car, Mr. Dan. What can you tell us about the car? 57 Chevy 150, has a uh, 12 bolt Camaro rear end under it, 373 positive track, running a 200 hour transmission with a Grand National torque converter because it's got a Grand National motor in it. The motor's been heavily modified. Makes about 500 horsepower. It'll spin the back tires right through first, second, about half a third gear. A lot of fun. We're going to get some nittos on it this year so we can go a little faster. Okay, so this is a Grand National motor. This is a V6 3.8 liter Buick motor. This has a turbocharger. And what size of turbo is, it, is on it's that? Got a, I've got a 63 millimeter. 63. 63 millimeter precision turbo on it. All right, let's go. Let's op open the hood of this thing. There you go. Giant intercooler. Precision turbo. 
Yep. 65 millimeter throttle body, large plenum, 45 pound injectors. Uh, what style injectors did you use? Did you use like an LS style or? Uh, no, they're Bosch. They're Bosch? Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's got uh, a Jepco in tank pump. It uh, puts out serious horsepower. Everybody asked me, how'd you know how big the make the intercooler. I said, well, I had to have room enough for the pipes on this side and the air cleaner on that side, so it had to be this big and this high. And there it is. That's what I bought. There you go. <laughs> yeah, fun to drive. We'll uh, just stall the back tires, but if you drive at 70 miles an hour, it'll get 28 miles to the gallon. You said you've gotten up to 32 miles a gallon on this thing. Yeah, I get 30, 28, and most of the time when I'm driving it, I get about 26 because I don't drive 70 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Well, uh, do you have an aftermarket ECU? Do you have... Uh, it's got the uh, stock uh, EC, uh, ECM. I have a seven-stage chip. I can go from chip to chip on the fly. Okay. So... Right now it's running on chip 6, uh, chip 7, I have to run a lot more octane. Uh, we haven't run it on through the drag strip uh, on chip 7, but we will in July when we go to Norwalk to the Blue Suede Cruise. And what uh, what octane are you running right now? Just 93. Just 93? Okay. So the 7 would be for like 110 octane. Yeah. Like Brace fuel. A few bottles of that stuff stashed. So. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna we go down to Blue Suede Shoe uh, Cruise. We're gonna have a new set of brand new set of nittos on the back, and they have all new concrete surface down there this year. Ooh! So you get to break in the uh, yeah. break in the crete, huh? I'll break in something. You know? <laughs> Might break something. But we're gonna yeah. I'm hoping to run in the 11s. Okay. Maybe better. That'd be awesome. How much does this car weigh right now? 3,450 pounds. 3,450 pounds, okay. Everybody asks me, say, well, that car's heavier than Grand National. Grand National weighs almost 3,800 pounds. Okay, so you're shaving a little weight off of there. Oh, yeah. Plus the extra horse is... Uh... Big advantage over the black cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, with this, we're not really worried about much for aerodynamics. It's got all the aerodynamics of a bread box. There you go. And you're going 120 miles an hour through the other end of the quarter mile. <laughs> you know you're going 120 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you feel every every mile per hour you gain. Yep. Yeah, it's just... All right, go ahead. Right, we're gonna go take a little ride for this thing. We'll see how bad this actually does spin the tires. All right. <laughs> this is awesome. And the turbo, the turbo is so loud. Yeah. Okay. Let you know it's there. I can hear the turbo. It's too late. <laughs> the uh, short shot now is loud. Bye. The, uh, the sound is just amazing. What kind of muffler you got on this? I got a Series 44 Flowmaster. It's only about that big. Is long. Yeah. Run a three inch downpipe into a three and a half inch. Uh, I figured it out mathematically and not flow to two and a half inch pipes. Okay. What year is in the rear? 373. 373? Okay. That's a lot. 
awesome. <laughs> I've never actually ridden in the car. I've heard oh, the I'm car. Oh, I've never ridden in the Yeah. Yeah, that's a... Uh, this thing is a beast. Yeah. I get to where I can hook it to the pavement. That'd be a real beast. Man. Uh, as you can tell, it likes to spin the tires. It has an easy time of spinning the tires. That's a drag strip I run it up, turn on the first light, and torque it until it turns the second light on. And when I mash on the pedal, the turbo spools almost instantly. Yeah. That fairly soft roll out, and then, as you can tell, kind of gets crazy. After that. There's no almost no lag whatsoever. Yeah, it's just it's great. Yeah, I really like to like, research the turbo. I didn't want to get a bunch of turbo lag, it's aggravating. Push the foot down, and it's like. Hey, that off it goes. Now this one seems to be the one that works real well. Is this a ball bearing or a yeah, ball bearing? Ball bearing. Ball bearing. Ball bearing. Ball bearing. Okay. 63 millimeter. Yeah. Definitely, definitely does it justice, that's for sure. Yeah. So, and we were only on chip 6, so. Better tires. You can't go any wider on the rims that you have. No, I can stick with the 8 inch rim. Okay. I can, uh, like this next winter, go in and move the springs in. Okay. And I'll have plenty of room. But then I have to you know, go to a 10 inch tire or rim and uh, have to have special offset. Okay. Yeah, I think once this thing's hooked to the pavement, it'll be one bean try. <laughs> yeah. Well, like it is, it's fun. It turns the tires. And uh, don't worry about who's in the other lane at the traffic lane. <laughs> so these, are, these are the fun sleepers. The uh... Oh, yeah. They ask me, and say, what are you running? It's a six automatic. But it'll uh, run anything you got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of power. The nice thing about the turbo, the horsepower goes up, the torque comes right with it. Yeah. It's as good or better than the horsepower. So, I ran it the season or we'll put the 12 volt in it. A friend of mine's got a 57. He had a 12 volt and he's restoring his, so he wanted my rear end. So I just spent all one summer trying not to break that rear end. Yep, just a six automatic. <laughs> all right guys, so that was the first of many showcases. Got a great car six cylinder with a turbo that you never thought would happen in a car like this just one sweet ride i'll see you guys next time nate here country classic 57 if y'all want to see more of this comment down below hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up let me know what you guys think if you guys want to showcase your cars let me know too i'd be glad to stop by let me show you guys. Till next time. Yeah, I might. If I did, I would only go maybe to a 68. You know? Not uh, too much bigger. Not too much bigger. Yeah. It just uh, On a race car, you can run big turbos. Because you run a high, real high stall speed. Four or five thousand stall speed. So you can get the turbos turning. Yeah. You know. And these guys running two eighty-five millimeter turbos on a five forty big block on the street. That bugger's going to have some lag, you know. So I have a friend that has a seventy-one Camaro with 
just at seven o'clock. Really? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah, he uh, he were down there uh, testing and tuning over in the Pier Dragway last fall. He come blasting through the end of the quarter mile, and the whole tread came off the left front tire. Yeah, in the lights. <laughs> Ripped up the fender, and he says, wow, that's quite a ride. He goes, it was scary. <laughs> so I really didn't know what happened. He says, that just scared the life out of me. <laughs> yeah. He kept it straight, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Says, no problem. So That's impressive. Yeah. Well, so he's... Uh, he was having trouble spooling his up while well, he had two... Turbo has to be as close to the exhaust or the head as possible. So right. Because you're compressing air, you know. And he had his turbos up front, so now they're parked right in the back. They come right up off the exhaust. He'll have another fun with it. Yep. This is a lot of fun. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me ride it. Yeah, no problem. The, and, uh, uh, Maybe we can arrange, uh, you know, a Brian Wright's uh, S10. It's a drag truck on the street. Yeah. You know, maybe his. Uh, that gasser I built for Jimmy O. Maybe get a chance to do that one. So. Definitely a lot of potential cars. Yeah, or the the Gringo, the Gringo I built for him. I do remember that. Yes. Yeah, that is fun to drive. <laughs> That is nine seconds on the street, and it's just a blast to drive. Yeah. The guy wanted to race me in the car in the Corvette. Ooh. I'm sitting over here thinking, boy, are you a class. You just don't understand. Take that car, and it's a fully manual.